here is a showing of the fans in use on the evening of July 27, 2024. It's a very nice day today. It's 85 over 52. It's been nice the last couple of days. No need for the air conditioners. Beautiful afternoon. So here in the kitchen we have this door craft pedestal fan. Kind of an oddball model. I tried to use it on the acicillating but it was making an annoying sound so I have to figure out why it's doing that. It was doing it when it was swinging left. Yep, there it goes. It's like it's getting hung up on something. But it's perfectly smooth going the other way, so I don't I don't understand what, what the problem is. So I'll have to take this apart and see if we can figure out why it's doing that. So for now we'll just use it on stationary. And it works just fine that way. I have this Marvin twin fan here which sometimes I put in the window but I haven't been using it lately because I just don't want to block the view. The yard looks so nice right now with all the trees uh, in bloom and everything. And we also have the sewing fan going here. I actually got both sewing fans going today. And also in the kitchen we have this Lakewood box VN. I've been using this one in the kitchen pretty consistently because it's one of the only decent box fans that's thin enough to fit on the window so pretty good. You can balance a 223 or something in the window here but it just doesn't fit that nicely. This is pretty secure. And it's an inch or two shorter which is beneficial because the opening is kind of small. These have been good fans, I really like these, but it is time to, okay, it is time to swap them out for something else. I've got so many pairs I want to use in this room, if I don't start changing, I'm never going to get to them all. In the media room we have this Holmes window fan which has been holding up nicely it's, I put quite a few hours on this thing since I serviced it and the bearing noises and so forth have not resurfaced bearings are still plenty free and the unit is running smoothly overall And this is pretty decent for a, a room this size. We'll be using this probably by the end of the week. There's some high 80s with thunderstorms in the forecast. In the bedroom we have this Lasco Weather Shield box VN which is really dirty. This one I never really shut it off, it just kind of runs continuously as long as the weather's not terrible out. Because I much prefer to have the windows open in the bedroom as opposed to 
using the air conditioner. I sleep a lot better with the windows open. I'm going to be rearranging the whole bedroom soon and so I think that it's going to start living in this window which I would prefer. I also have this one here which I intend to start using at night as well. It's a little bit quieter. And speaking of quieter, we have this louder Holmes window fan here in the computer room. And I'm just using this because I'm not in here today so the noise doesn't really matter. Just needed some air moving around at this end of the house. You know these really do throw the air pretty far. I can feel the airflow from this clear across the room. And this is not a small room. And it's only on low. No fiends on downstairs right now. Not working down there today. Maybe later on. No fiends on in the garage. Not working in here either. Maybe later on. Here in the living room. Got out an old classic. We have the General Electric. 3 speed electrically reversible window box fan. This is the one for my grandfather. I grew up around this unit. And also from his house. Well, this is not the exact instance. I have the exact instance, but this is a different one. I have a Lasco 12 inch circulating fan which is not a circulating. It was also making some noises. Oh no, it wasn't making noises. It was uh, sticking. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it starts to slow down considerably as it goes left. So something needs a lubrication there. It might just be an issue with the cord. You can hear the cord getting stuck as it goes to the right. That creaking is just the cord. We can fix that. This is also very out of balance. Look at it shake. So we got to do some work on this thing. I'm also noticing now that this is not assembled properly, which might have just transpired uh, in the vehicle on the way home, I don't know. But that also should not be a difficult fix. So we got to do some balancing, a little bit of lubrication on the articulating system, and then this will be good to go. A lot of nostalgia in these two fans. Been around these models for almost 30 years. These are some of the first fans I remember. Next we have the Lasco Power Plus box fan that I got out of the trash still working pretty good after I repaired it. I just have this one here because it's this is a sunny window I don't want to put a vintage fan here in the sun and since I got asked about it recently somebody asked me about this plant the uh, species is escaping me at the moment but here it is it's up to the window here it's, it's huge I think this is the biggest one I've ever seen in the person And then over here we have the a Lakewood 223. I believe this is a JC Penny branded one. Yep, it's JC Penny branded. So I don't know what the letter would be. I guess it's still P223, I don't know. 
Oh, I guess we could find out because. No, I guess we can't find out because the tag doesn't say. This is a 9794. And this is an earlier model with the with the square stator, which probably dissipates heat much better than the circular one. And these things look great no matter where you put them. I've never used one in this particular window before, and I really like it here. I have a brown cabinet one that I want to clean up soon and use in here. That's the next one I want to service. But uh, for now, this one's working great. And then over here we have this Hampton Bay window fan, which actually outputs quite a bit more air than I would have expected. Even only on low you can feel it when sitting on the couch over here. I don't know why on earth this particular portion of it had got so dirty and the rest of it's pretty clean still. It's really kind of bizarre. And then lastly for now we got the ceiling fan going. I really need to change this one out soon because the uh, the noises from it have just gotten out of control. Even on low now it makes annoying sounds. I don't know what's going on with this. Something about the mounting apparatus is not quite right. But uh, hopefully the next one I put in here will be quieter. I can go without it during the summer but in the winter I need something that's going to work right. It's a shame because this just looks absolutely fantastic in here. It's a perfect fit for the room. Not a lot of rooms can handle a light this size, but this room can. Night is upon us. Temperature have gone down to 70, but the humidity went up to 89%, which is very high. So we might have to switch over to air conditioner tonight or at least the humidifier. If I can drop it down the temperature to 70 I'll put on the humidifier. I'm trying not to use air conditioner as much as possible because the light bill was over $500 last month because the electricity rates um, not the generation rate but the taxes and everything went up 30 percent so now the typical bill of like 350 to 400 is now over 500 because of the increase in the rates so it's just not it's just not practical I have to at least keep the dehumidifiers running downstairs but I can go without it upstairs to an extent I mean, that kind of humidity fluctuation is not good for the building so we gotta keep it under control to some degree but we'll see what happens so let's take a look at the fans now at night they're still using uh, all the same ones. Of course I'm using now uh, some of the ceiling fans. Actually, all of the ceiling fans. Hello, there we go. This is such a nice fan. There's just something about polished brass ceiling fans.
It's about uh, 82 degrees in the hallway. So it's a little bit on the warm side for that kind of humidity. I really like to have the windows open this time of year because I enjoy the sound of the cicadas. Uh. Oh, I turned that one off. I'll turn on some more lights so that the fans are visible from the outside. We're going to need a little bit more light than that, I think. I might as well just turn on all the lights at this point. Okay. Perfect. Now let's take a look from the outside. On the deck, I forgot to show this earlier. On the deck, I had been using this Lasco uh, oscillating pedestal fan. I forget what model number this is, but uh, I picked this up out of the trash. There's something stupid. I think like the blade had come loose from the shaft or whatever. Very easy fix. And uh, I had been using this. I used this a lot when I first bought the house. Let's see all the sheetrock dust in there. I should run after the dishwasher. Then I had just stashed it away in storage, and I said, no, you know what, I should get that out and use it on the deck. And uh, it works surprisingly well. Even on low, it can be felt all the way over here. Look at these plants to be moving. No wind tonight. It's still. And look, when it comes over to here, well, of course that chair is kind of in the way. Let's see if it'll move this plant. It's pointing at the plant now. And there it goes. It was subtle, but it was there. I take this chair out of the way. We might see this invigorating part of the video a little better. Yeah, see, there you go. Look at it move that plant. That's not bad. That's only on low. And uh, it's a very refreshing breeze if you're sitting over here, even at this side of the table. You can still feel it over here. And on a stagnant day, this is great because it keeps the bugs away at night. And during the day, it does get, uh, it can get pretty hot on the deck if it's not um, windy because it's just the radiant heat from the sun. And uh, yeah, this is great for the deck. And it's fairly quiet on low, it's not disruptive at night. So that's been working out really good. And I just keep it out here on the deck as a little uh, bag I put over the top of it at night. Keep it dry if it rains or something. I'm going to turn these lights off. I don't like the way this is working with all the lights on.
Yeah, that's better. I always like looking at the fans from outside into the house. So we got that out here, keeping the deck cool, and I have been out here most of the day, that's why it's on. Got this old GE running, you can hear that out here, that's pretty cool to hear that sound. That's got a pretty distinct sound to the motor. That was you. One of the things that's neat about this house, which was something I was looking for, is that there's a lot of places you can see into it. You can see the ceiling fans uh, from the outside. Now you can see this one all over the yard. And this one, you can see both of these perfectly from the deck. The blurry lake wood. I remember looking at this fan uh, in my uncle's house. He had two of them at one point. One of them was in like an upstairs uh, attic area. And I remember we turned it on once. And I remember looking at it from the outside. I forget exactly what happened. I think. I know he had two of these. This is one of them. The other one, I think he said he took it down and it, it got damaged while, while it was um, taken down or something. I guess I forgot to turn the lights off in the studio.
there's no skunk over there. I don't see one. Well, I suppose if I see one, it's probably too late. And that's not on, but there's that. So I think that's a wrap for the fans running tonight. That's all of them. I really like those two two threes. I remember seeing those everywhere years ago. All right, that's a wrap for this one. I want to enjoy the rest of the night out here with my cheesy Lasco pedestal fan.